Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our Folktale playthrough. Right, so in this episode there's quite a quite a few things we want to get through, but as per our uh, traditions, let's just name our I think that was episode 21 winner and I'll uh, put it on the screen as well, but that goes to Meme Lord. I'm pretty sure Meme Lord, you've already had a beaver named after you before, so congratulations once again and and let's get this episode started. First of all, I think I wanted to mention that um, I don't know why, but I feel like Fertile Flats over here, this whole district, isn't really... It, it was great to build and, and play with in the, during the first uh, first few, few days and I'd say maybe up to episode 15. But now I'm slowly starting to feel that this um, district really isn't giving us anything or or how should I put it? it it doesn't really have a big purpose because the Beaverly Hills over here that's producing uh, food logs for us and it's a uh, passing through some water into different areas as well we've got this massive uh, aqueduct over here and the hamster dam is our potato farm with a few more things around here as well and the, the newest district which I think um, wasn't initially going to be a permanent one, but that, this might change now. Well, essentially, this is more like our our power district air, district area over here. Um, yeah, I don't. I'm not saying that we're gonna get rid of this district just yet, but this might. I think there's a potential to move it somewhere else, where there's more area to build, such as this plateau over here. That could be a pretty cool spot, or maybe maybe even up here. Well, anyways, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, maybe we could repurpose this, but the, the main, main reason, I guess, is also that we can't really go anywhere from here. It, it's not allowing us to, you know, jump uh, uh, jump any further into, into, into a new area, I suppose. Okay, right, so coming back to this, um, this episode here. Now, I think the first thing we want to do is uh, let's check our resources. We've got a lot of... Uh, blanks few gears over here but i just have a feeling that with our plans for this new reservoir i don't think those blanks are gonna last for very long and uh, gear production we've only got one building here that's producing gears so yeah we we'll probably have to uh, change this up a little bit and i was thinking to use the area that's down here to improve our production zone and that's because we've got this, um, well, we're going to have this big forest plantation air area here. And I feel this wall is somewhat useless as well to us. So, um, well, let's see what we can, what we can do about it. And we'll re, well, we'll change this area around a little bit. And um, I think the way we are going to do it is, well, some platforms. And we're going to build on, on top of them. So it's going to be a bit of a over the river kind of build. And these buildings unfortunately are in our way. So they are going to go out. And um, do you know what? I'll um, put a few things in place here. And then we'll, we'll, we'll jump back and, uh, and I'll show what, what we're thinking. Alright, so we've got a couple of things done already. We've got the platforms, few storage buildings. Uh, I'm going to be using the small warehouse and the large one. And on top of them, we are going to have a whole a lot of lumber mills. And yes, you might be saying, hey, baby dragon, you've got a, you've got a few lumber mills up here already. But um, yes, you're right. However, I'm thinking to change them over to gear workshops, potentially. There's also a chance that we might repurpose this whole area, take all the production out. Maybe some more buildings for the beavers to li live in. It's just an option, but we'll we'll see how it goes. Right, so can we please have those platforms and all those things built? And then we can get into this as well. Uh, right, so a few things are going to have to change around here as well. I'm still trying to figure out how exactly do we want to build this, but um, I'm thinking... <laughs> This might not be too bad. We don't probably need these roads here anymore. Yeah. And what we'll do on this side, I think we're just going to mirror 
the exact same thing. Although I'm gonna pause it. And yeah, we'll mirror it. Uh, to have some more. So in total, I think we should have about 12. At least 12 lumber mills. And with the entrances here as well. We're gonna get rid of those log piles. For the, for the time being. Where? One second. Okay, so these buildings are now empty. That's because we can't reach it. I had to just re uh, redo the roads here. So I think... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to... Uh, let's just try and get a better angle. Okay, so... Connect from there. And these spots. Do you know what? That would have been better, actually, from the... From the front, maybe. Hmm. Well... It's done already. Oh, we might not need this in here. You know what? We'll deprioritize these blank uh, platforms, and we'll try and get the rest built. All right, where are all the builders? They've just sort of disappeared somewhere. All right, get to building everyone. Let's just double check. How many builders do we have in this district? Four out of eight. Uh, so where can we find another builder's hut? There must be somewhere. There's four in here. I think we'll empty this storage here as well. It's just a very in inconvenient location for, for the storage. Ah, there it is. Found it. Uh, so let's open you again. Maybe you can have a few more builders. But I think we've got a bit of a low population problem here yeah so more beaver houses are are going to be needed um the stairs are finally built so that way they can start constructing all this in here as well i'm just gonna speed up the time i'll try and skip the nights actually and then we'll be back when it's daytime all right another day has dawned on us and we've got a few platforms in already um, the beavers are quite busy building this. However, as I mentioned before, I think we are going to need some more builders. Yeah, population is very low. Sorry, okay, so we're going to have to start maybe from housing instead. No, there's quite a lot of, lot of beavers here. 135. What is everyone doing in this, in this district? So we've got 8 in the water pump, which is perfectly fine. These are empty. Lumber mill... Well, blanks currently... Oh, it's gone down just a little bit. Uh, so we'll keep them there. Lumberjack flags. Do we need that many? If I pause this just for a second. Uh, right, in this location we have quite a few flags. One, two, three, four, five. Right, so maybe, maybe, just maybe, we could pause... I don't know, maybe two of them. So we can have two extra beavers... I'm thinking with the farming in this district as well, since we've got so much wheat in storage, how about we pause one of those farms for the time being? And most likely, same at the top, we've got four, four farms, but there isn't a lot of farming to be done up here. I mean, carrots, yes, we do need them. Maybe we'll prioritize carrots as well. Um, carrot, yep. And this one for carrots as well. So between the six of them, that's given us five five spare beavers who are all now working um, working somewhere. Yes, we got four more builders as well, so that is fantastic. That brings us to twelve builders in total. And with the resources being relatively close as well, this shouldn't take too long for them to construct this whole area. Right, so that means we can carry on with planning whilst they build. Um, I know you mentioned, or a few of you mentioned that it's not very interesting to watch me plop down buildings, but um, I think this time it's going to be a little bit different. We'll let it build it in the background whilst we uh, figure this out, um, uh, figure this out together. Right. Also in, in this area, because the water wheels will be in the in the new district, so they are actually in our way. And, um, well, we're going to have a road that goes around here. Okay, so we that means 
more platforms, isn't it? Yep, just up here, and then... Wrong one. I think we need a th uh, three up. And we'll pause it just for a second. Right, let's let them carry on building. And this is going to have to change as well. Because the road goes from front of the buildings, then around. So the stairs are... Oh, we're going to have to bring in power somehow as well. Yeah... Yeah, that's going to be a little bit more trickier, I suppose. So maybe more towards the end. No, actually, this is like the perfect height over here. Yeah, and then we could connect. Hmm. Oh, I think I know how we want to do it. How about... Through here. We could change these around so it does not drop from uh, uh, one level down from here, but instead carries on at the same height. And then this straight power shaft could be changed. And that's when we do the drop uh, drop down. Yeah, I think that could be a pretty good uh, solution. Now, how is everyone doing? Seems they're doing fairly okay. Um, right, right, right. And platforms, I think we should be almost done. I'd really like to get it get it complete. Are we emptying these log piles as well? I'm not sure. But it seems um, we could change this around. Let's do that one there. Oh, wrong one, but that's okay. How many planks do we have? Okay, a couple. I think that is that is, that should be okay. They're not constructing any platforms right now anyway, so that should be should be fine. Oh right, they could still finish off the levees in here. So how about we Yeah, there's plenty of space for them to work from. And then we can bring the road across almost there. And same from the opposite side as well. Great. That is done, and morning is almost here as well, so now you, you can all hopefully see again. So, right, we'll carry on constructing constructing this area, but um, we are, we're also going to have to get down here. Now, since we don't really want, need to need or want to harvest any of those blueberries, I think we can take them out. So these are all marked for demolition now, and we can go ahead and take out those water wheels as well. They are not really going to be that useful to us. And I think from somewhere, maybe about here, what we shall do. Let's see if we can. Should be able to. We'll bring uh, platforms across, like so, and connect it with the road. Because we are going to need um, some sort of uh, drop down... For our beavers. I'm just not sure where can we do it. Let's do one somewhere around around here. Okay, so that should be good for starters. And once they remove a few um, blueberries as well. Then um, we can go from there really. And while well, you look at that, few warehouses are already complete. Well, these were the easier ones. I think we still have let's let's just check how many platforms have they done right so the base level seems to be complete and so now they can start constructing the the rest as well now whilst all that construction is happening i think we should revisit another another thing or or something we need to update here as well and that is the district importing and exporting uh, limits so let's take a quick look in the beaverly hills and so the low and the high, gotcha, understood. Right, so let's check. We want to... Um, it's always confusing me. So low, it won't be carried out and high won't be carried in. Got it. Um, let's just check. Grilled potatoes was a problem. So the low, 50. Okay, so we should get a lot of, um, a lot of grilled potatoes. What else did we say? Blank maybe we say well it doesn't really matter we're not bringing blanks into this district anyways and uh, low and high okay so this district seems fairly good 
Let's take a look at New um, Amsterdam, I mean. As uh, so the low is zero. Oh, right. So let's put it at 100. And, well, the high doesn't really matter. What about bread? 200. Uh, no, let's do, let's do 400 for that. And are we exporting, importing anything else? No, that I think is fine here, isn't it? Yeah, that goes out. Blanks, dynamites. No, we don't really need any more of any of those. And now let's, let's take a look at our District 7 as well. I think water. Yeah, we could increase that. Let's say 300. 300 is good. Blanks. We could do more actually. Let's do 300 in here. And what about logs? Oh, right, right, right. Um, actually, we're not importing logs now, are we? Yeah, so that's fine. Okay, so let's leave leave them as they as they are another thing to make it a little bit easier in the future for us to continue with the project over here right so what we what we could do in here or should i say what i will do here is to reorganize this whole area i would like the main building that we have here is to be actually storage and that would be log piles i really wish they could be stacked just like we how we can do it in the in the iron teeth faction but unfortunately we can't so i'd like to have more log piles in this location so that means i'm moving out those crisp mills and the bakeries but also replacing i think the distribution would be much better if it's somewhere in this corner corner here but we'll get to it once we build the other um, production zone with the crisp mills and bakeries uh, i was thinking that could be the location or the area where we where we have them because we're not really using this crisp mill here so maybe we'll bring them out of the way just at the corner to utilize the space a little bit better what is what is happening here it seems we have another warehouse that is complete so let's just put the storage for none right now i think in the long term most likely blanks is what we want there and it seems we've emptied the log piles as well so let's just get rid of them as well uh, we are just gonna have to provide an entrance to the soon to be built um, lumber mills and they're gonna need roads as well so let's just put it in front there what we can do in the future is just to mirror the, the build sort of style here to the other side and uh, yeah that should be pretty pretty good as well right we've got a lot of space here and um, i know we've got a we also have a lot of logs however i would like to bring some roads down and uh well actually now that i think about it i don't think believe this is gonna be where we drop down but you know what it's okay we can do it from here for the time being and we'll change it in the in the future if we have to because all we have here are just gonna be the logs so or the trees i mean let's put this road down i don't think we want this anymore yeah, since our plans and priorities have changed, so... And then what we'll do is... We'll just have some more maples in this whole area. Well, the only thing we'll still need, if we can find it, is the forester. That seems to be like a good location, so let's plop one down there. And then once the stairs get built, then we'll also know... Uh, where we can place the lumber uh, lumberjack flags. Okay, so now these are connected. Ooh, wow, the big ones are also complete. Let's just um, not use them as storage just yet. With the lumber mills, same thing. Let's just pause them for the time being because we don't quite have the power here yet. If we check our power supply, almost 4,000 horsepower. So that is that is not bad at all. Same with you. Let's just pause you for a second. And uh, now we're going to have to change the power so let's take a look we're still gonna need right this platform is still needed and then we can just take out the links once the connection bit is is done over there good okay things are going pretty well yeah i think the water pumps should probably go somewhere somewhere else and since you can't really pump anything let's just pause them for the time being oh wow there is a lot of things to do isn't it i have a feeling we're gonna need some more builders in this district actually but at the same time do we 
it, be, it will be useful for sure. Oh, and maybe we should not. Yeah, we should definitely get get rid of those. Blanks numbers are going down pretty quickly. I think when we started this episode, we had about 1,500, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe we looked at that total. The total is still... Okay, so that is still quite high. But yeah, uh, that's going to come out. And um, you know what? Let's just delete the first one. And what I wanted to do is to put a couple of platforms here. So then if we want, we could connect the roads here as well. But... What we should build in here is the flame flame of progress. Let me just pause this for the time being because we want the other area to be done first. Now, when it comes to flame of progress, if I can grab one of those beavers, that is going to give them uh, increase their walking speed by 30% and that is massive. So I definitely think once we get this um, area done over here, we'll build the, build the flame of progress to help us... Um, be a little bit more efficient i mean we're exporting quite a few resources here and bringing logs from this production zone all the way to another district it is quite a long way so if those beavers could walk a little bit faster well 30 percent isn't a little bit that's actually a lot faster so that would be very helpful for us now how is this um, wall of levies doing not too bad at all that is actually looking very lovely and now we can have a look here I think we should be able to build those platforms and yes they are so that is looking very good how about these stairs over there nope they're still very busy constructing the last set of platforms and um i think we can already start putting in those power shafts but that is what i was thinking and then the connection area is going to be somewhere here. Can we get this done as well? Oh, you were deprioritized. You know what? Let's change that. And you probably as well. Perfect. Okay, so that is going very good. Let's see what else do we want to do. I, I wrote down a couple of things that I was thinking. Uh, we've talked about the production area, Chris Mills bakeries, more gears. Yep, that's going to go up there. And oh, yes let's pause it so we can move around a bit more smoothly right so those dynamites over here so how about we set them off as well wonderful and once the dry season is over we should be uh, well actually you know what let's just oh no there isn't enough water here well that's fine once the dry season is done we should have a nice river flowing from flowing through that area there. And the last thing that I had written down. Oh yeah, here we go. Once the reservoir starts over, uh, is full and starts overflowing, the water will come into this little river section here. And then it's just going to drain out. But this is something we would like to change because it would be awesome if we could keep and store some of that water. And as you probably guessed it, the only way to do it, or the best way to do it, is with some floodgates. And oh, that is just so annoying. I mean, like, I, I understand the water isn't going to leak through. But just visually looking at this, yeah. Well, what we'll do is, uh, I just have to put those levies there. Um, I do understand it's not going to go through, but it just looks much better when we have them there and the final thing uh just a few few stairs in there as well and the road and i hope they will be able to get somewhat close to it i will see oh no another night time well it's okay we'll skip the night then we'll be back in the morning here we go the drought has finally ended and i've just noticed that some beavers have actually demolished some of those blueberries so that is very good indeed. We've got the platforms now in place to... You should be able to build those power shafts, right? Yeah, they should be able to. But what we can do now is... Let's take out a few of them. I know it's going to put a pause on our current power production, but that is okay. We'll have it fixed and repaired very quickly so back to power we are gonna need the power shaft in here on a bit 
and at the junction just like so. And what we'll also do is we'll give, I think, these sections the highest priority. And the top one's slightly lower. Alright, great. They've almost completed the platforms. Just a few more resources. That should give them a, an alternative way to access the top area here. I'm not sure if we really need this. And I've actually started thinking about the performance as well. Um, I think I'll have to do some investigation about their pathfinding because right now we only we've got less than 300 beavers but that's already you know when you're moving around in triple speed then you can already feel it i mean number one it's probably fine by giving them less roads or junctions then maybe it's going to be a little bit less taxing on the on the system overall and the computing it needs to do but anyways, we I think for the time being it's fine. Now the power system is relinked, so that is that is fantastic. Producing well, we were producing quite a bit of power, but it seems like the wind has died down, so that's okay. The stairs to underneath the water are almost complete as well. We just have one link missing, and then we can have the beavers hopefully clear up the rest of the area. Right, let's just connect it up with the road. So now with the power connected, we can unpause these lumber mills. And as soon as we start producing some power, come on, please, wind, hello. Well, once it comes through, then uh, we'll have some more production in uh, in these zones as well. Interesting, 11, oh right, we don't have a beaver working the last one because the stairs are not yet completed. And that is okay. Let's have a look. How are we doing? Right, almost done. Just the last link in there. Beautiful. And then uh, what I'd like to do is we, we are going to have to connect this up here as well. So how about we get this started by building... Uh, here we go. One link there. And we're going to have to figure out something something in here as well. I think first we should probably... Uh, well, uh, you know what? Let's not get this started just yet. Let's leave it for another another episode. For now, we just want to have this section, section done. And I think they're already starting to give us another route towards... The new plantation area as well so that's uh, that's good oh yeah here we go there's a whole army of beavers and these blueberries are getting devoured next thing for us to do is to connect up um, these lumber mills up here and to also re redo the access and it seems if we unpause i think that should should be the way to go yeah hopefully this last uh, bush over here gets completed or removed there we go there's a beaver in there and then we can place down another platform roads on top and then they can get around uh actually i think i've just spotted we're probably gonna yeah the path is in front of it and uh, do we want to do it at the same height you know what why not let's just put it at the same height so it's gonna be a little bit easier later on as well I think we can go something like that. No, we're going to need a triple in there. A double. Oh, if only we can see. I suppose we can do a triple in there. And two doubles, isn't it? Just going to have to change the stairs over here. Maybe towards the end, actually. If we do... Let's see, what is happening here? It's so difficult to see as well. Little bit inefficient and not ideal. However... Do you know what? It will do. Yeah, it will do. I don't even think we need those roads in here, but um, yeah, let's just leave it, leave it be. So that way, if we try and place the launch warehouse, that fits just perfectly. And the front, we cannot do just yet, but that's because we don't have any platforms in here. So that's a quick, easy fix for us as well. Okay, I'll complete this build in here. Once we're done, we're going to have a quick final look what is it uh, what is it like and and then we'll we'll go from there okay so our blank production zone or area is pretty much complete now so in total we have 12 
uh, lumber mills and th that should be producing us quite a lot of blanks for the for our future uh, projects to 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 come and if i'll quickly show you access here as well most of it is nicely green yellow orange uh, until we come to the bit of the last corner here that's where it gets a more red color but then again that's okay because um, I don't think we're going to be expanding the building uh, here anyways. 12 should be, uh, should be quite a lot and if we wanted more, we could always mirror it on the on the other side to bring it up to 24, let's say, if we, if we wanted to, of course. And um, other than that, uh, yeah, we've got a few different levels as well and they still... But try and zoom in. I rearranged the stairs over here so they, they they can still go to the lower levels if they want to. We've also got got rid of all the all the berries below so that plot is now nice and nice and clear. And well, once the water does drop, hopefully a little bit lower, then we should be able to plant some more trees all over the place. This actually reminds me. Hey, let's put a couple more more trees in this area. Okay. Yeah, they can't plant it just yet. I'm not really. Oh yeah, because there's water here, so he's not really planting. But um, once the water level drops, then we'll we'll have some more trees as well. I think everything else, this reservoir, can't get. Oh, they don't have enough logs. Okay, so that's that's gonna be done in the in the next episode actually. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. What we wanted to do and achieve in this episode. Uh, I've got another one planned up in which we'll do uh, we'll reach uh, rejig everything in here to make it a little bit more efficient. And I just want to have a whole bunch of log piles ready to complete the construction plans that we have for for this area so that should be hopefully done in the in the next episode as well so thank you very much everyone for joining in this one and i do hope to see you again in the in the next episode